So we have uh, uh, completed the basic config of vManage uh, that is required uh, to bring up uh, the vManage in the SD-WAN fabric. Now let us bring us other elements. Uh, now let's bring vBond. Let me go to let me SSH to the vBond. Okay, so if you look at uh, the, the particular device, right? So vBond does not have any separate image or a software for it. So actually the vEdge can be configured as a vBond itself. Either the physical vEdge or the vEdge cloud, which is the virtual form factor of vEdge. Right? So uh, generally in your production enterprise networks, so vEdge cloud will be enabled as vBond itself. Okay? And now, so let us configure the basic information or the basic configuration in order to make vBond as a part of SD-WAN fabric. Okay, so what and all is required under the system. So we need to configure first the host name. So we will change the host name of vEdge to vBond and we will configure the org name. We will configure the system IP and we will configure the site ID. And the important part of it, we need to configure this particular device as vbond itself okay so now let's go to configuration system now host name this is vbond system ip 192.168.1.2 site id i'm going to configure this as 1001 and we also need to configure org name. The org name is LearnEdge. Okay. And now, what else do we need to configure? So we need to configure this particular interface IP address as the vBond itself. Right. So let us configure this particular interface IP address, which is 9.1.5.2. And then make that as a vBond IP. Right. So let's go to VPN 0 okay and then interface Z0 slash 0 IP address 9.1.5.2 slash 24 so basically this is by default as this is a VHG software this is a tunnel interface so we don't need a tunnel on the vBond let us remove this tunnel and then now shut and sorry uh, on the interface interface the 0 slash 0 no shirt exit now we need to configure routing for this IP route 0 0 0 slash 0 pointing to 9.1.5.1 okay now let us go to our system config Now configure the vBond IP which is 9.1.5.2 and this is local because we are mentioning this local keyword so that it will understand I am the vBond. Okay, now commit. Now let us verify the configuration that we have done. Show run system. Under system we have configured host name, system IP, site ID and then the organization name and we have configured this particular device as vbond right using the local keyword now show run vpn0 under vpn0 we have configured this particular interface 9.1.5.2 and then we have provided routing information now let's ping 9.1.5.1 we are able to ping okay now Let us try to ping if this is reachable to vManage 9.1.6.2. You see we are able to reach the vManage as well from here. 